this in the bank levy now. Don't call it a tax. And the reason we found out yesterday is that a levy is tax deductible, but a tax, by its very nature, well, it's not tax deductible. Anyway, the levy is set to raise $6.2 billion over the next four years, according to the government. It's got to go through the parliament, but it seems Bill Shorten and Shadow Treasurer Chris Bowen, well, they told me and Australia last week after the budget that they will not oppose it. Mind you, they'll try and make some political mileage by having it assessed inside a Senate inquiry, but ultimately the bank campaign to have it overthrown will amount to naught. So yesterday, the big four banks released reports showing the impact on their profits. Now, you can see here the after-tax amounts. The Commonwealth says it'll pay $220 million, Westpac $260 million, the NAB $245 million, and ANZ $240 million. Now, remember the levies being assessed on the bank's total liabilities. Now, the number that looks a bit odd here is the Commonwealth, easily Australia's biggest bank, with the greatest number of liabilities. It says it will pay less than NAB, which is almost half its size. But add that lot up and you get $965 million. There's still Macquarie to come, but $965 million times four, I can do the maths, that's how the budget works, equals $4 billion, give or take. Now, the government expects $6.2 billion over four years, so this is $2 billion light. So it looks like somebody has got their maths wrong, either the government, in the budget, or the banks, and time will tell. Now, the one thing here, I guess, that bank balance sheets will grow over time, that could be a part of the answer. Now, while the banks continue their campaign on the levy, parallels drawn with the Rudd-Gillard government mining taxes, well, they're wrong. That tax was on profits, super profits, remember. When the mining industry collapsed, there were no profits, let alone super profits, so the government didn't collect a single red cent. The bank levy, however, doesn't tax profits. So even if the banks have a bad year, they'll still be paying up. And that's what they're grumbling the most about. The Dow Jones overnight up by 89 points and the Australian dollar 74.7 US cents.